Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spring Boot 3 tutorial. My name is Varad and today in this session, I will be showing you how to create a Spring Boot 3 project or application on your local machine. Now there are multiple ways to create a Spring application, but I will be showing you the most common way that we have to create a Spring application. So without further delay, let's get started. Now in order to create a Spring Boot project, we have to visit this site called as a start.spring.io. We, we, we call it as a Spring Initializer. In this, we have to choose the couple of options. So first of all, in a project, we have to choose a Maven. In a language, we can keep it as a Java. In the Spring version, we can uh, choose the most stable version. So by default, it will select most stable version. While recording this session, the most st stable version is 3.2.2. So it will I will just keep it as it is. Then over here, we have to choose a group. So inside this group, I'll just make it as com.youtube. And inside the artifact, I'll just make it as com.youtube. Let's suppose uh, tutorial. Then we can give the description and the package name will be something like com.youtube.tutorial. Packaging, we can keep it as it is. And for the Java, either we can choose Java 17 or Java 21. So I'll just keep it as a Java 17. Inside of the dependencies, we have to add, let's suppose Spring Web. I'll just add this Spring Web, web dependency and I'll just click on the generate. Now, when you click, when you will click, click on a generate, it will basically download one a zip file. So what do we have to do? We have to just open this zip file. So let me just take it with my desktop. Yes. And what we have to do, we have to just unzip it. And once you unzip it, you will basically uh, find one folder and you will basically find these particular files inside the folder. Now, what we have to do, we have to open the IntelliJ or if you're using any other editor or ID, then you can just use that IDE and we have to click on open and let me just choose this particular folder and let me just click on open. Now, what we have to do, we have to just click on trust project and then what we have to do, we have to just wait till this particular application gets loaded into the IntelliJ and over here, if you just see, it will just take some time to resolve the dependencies and make sure that while doing this particular process, you are connected to the internet because it basically downloads the dependencies over the internet. So we have to make sure that we are connected to the internet. So it will just take some time and once everything is done, then we will be able to run the Spring Boot application. Now all the background processes are done. So in order to run these, let me just go to the SRC and let me just go to the main Java and let me just go to the tutorial application class. And over here we will find this particular main method. So what we have to do, we have to just run this particular main method and it will basically run the Spring Boot application. And now, as you can see, the Spring Boot application is started on Tomcat server and the default port on which Tomcat server basically runs is 8080. So this is how the application is now uh, running. And if you just, if you are able to see this particular message that is started the application in some seconds, then it basically means that our Spring Boot application is up and it is running successfully. So this is how we can create the Spring Boot application and we can open it inside the IntelliJ. So if you still have any questions, let me know into the comment section. And just one note, for this particular Spring Boot tutorial, I am preparing the notes and I will share these notes into a description box. So you can click on that link and you can just check out these particular notes. Inside these particular notes, I also have added all the steps that we just followed. If you want, you can just take a look and you can just follow these particular steps. So this is all for uh, today's session. I hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you in the next session.